we're at the local park and I'm going to try out these Fogo premium light charcoal that's a uh, starter that they include it's a cedar piece of cedar it looks like and it's probably been treated with something they say to use two pieces I'm just going to use one we're just cooking a couple hot dogs we want to show how this works apologize for the background noise um, but we'll see about how long it takes and we're just going to cook some hot dogs it's better than just taking pictures of the bag never done this before with this well you match is better work or we're in trouble there we go took me quite a few matches to get that going because we've got about five to six mile an hour breeze coming off the lake kept blowing the matches out this is supposed to burn at a fairly high rate because they say to watch out for sparks but it's going now and I may add a little more charcoal later but uh, we'll go from the time it's on it's been burning now for uh, 30 seconds added a couple more pieces of charcoal to the front Charcoal starting to get some red on it now. It might take less than the 15 minutes they recommend. I don't drink, so I won't be taking the recommended beverage that they have in their instructions. This should be going pretty good. Maybe I can turn this group. That helps. Turn it 180 degrees. We're on Lake Erie. It's kind of a kid's park. It's been about it's been about five minutes. I would have to double check. I've swung it back into the wind. It will no doubt easily get started now. The starter uh, cedar burns for about five minutes. And again, I only used one. They recommend two, but as you can see, this is a small pile. We're just doing some black Angus hot dogs. One of the things about using a wood starter like that is that. Uh, you know, if you want to avoid the uh, starter fluid, uh, you're going to have to put up with just the middle of the pile starting, and I had to rearrange some of the outside pieces on top. So we'll try to have everything going at uh, at the same time here. No big deal. It's just that when you can squirt everything with fluid, you get a, a more even start. But I would prefer not to have to use the fluid. It's just not that big a deal. I don't mind fussing around. We're 13 minutes into this now, and I would have to say that with a bigger pile, you get a, a, a little bigger, more heat, and a little faster uh, that things are going. Uh, and of course, I only use one starter, piece of starter wood, so we're doing everything on a much smaller scale, just to show my hand here. It's just enough to cook six hot dogs. Here we are at 15 minutes. And yeah, you could, again, if there was more coals here, you could spread them out and you'd be fine because you could toss the, the, the outside ones into the middle and you could start cooking if you wanted to, but I have a feeling that I'm going to probably wait another five minutes. I'm not in a hurry. Okay, that's been 20 minutes and that's good enough. I mean, we only have to put six hot dogs on here. I've lowered the grill, the grate down. I'm going to put some aluminum foil over these uh, rods. I'm not going to try to clean them and we'll cook up the hot dogs. So, you know, folks with different grills will have different results. There's no air through the bottom of this grill. It was just the wind coming off of the lake. And I've swung at 180 now, so it'll just simmer. But it's uh, throwing off plenty of heat. Time to eat. Not going to show you that part.